Well, what are the odds that somebody would park right next to me? I swear to God, this happens every time. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to a new week with me. I am picking up my groceries and I thought I would just start off in the car instead of in my beauty room, which is where I always sit to open each vlog. But sometimes the car's nice and plus I just love the lighting. <laughs> okay, I am checked in. Perfect. All right, so what we have going on this week, planned on doing a Lucille Ball tribute video because if you guys saw, I was actually watching I Love Lucy on the TV all last week because I am doing a little bit of research for some content ideas and I want to celebrate her this entire week and I have so much to share. I've actually been meaning to make this video for a while. I've been making notes about things that I want to make sure I remember to do and then I'm going to take you upstairs. We're going to sit and have a chat. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff and tell you a little story and then we're going to get into this. So if you're a Lucille Ball fan, hold on tight because you're in the right company. I'm a mega fan. I've been watching I Love Lucy on rotation my entire life. Might be them. So anyway, I'm going to tell you a lot more later, but um, welcome to a new week and I'm so excited about this one. I'm back. Groceries have been put away. Let's dive into this. I have been wanting to do a Lucy themed video for a really long time. I just didn't know exactly how I was going to go about it. Was I going to do a retro recreation? How am I going to be inspired and do this artistically so that I have a good time? <laughs> and I think these thrifty upcycles are really where I'm enjoying myself the most. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to completely cosplay I Love Lucy or Lucio Ball. I'm not going to try to look like her from the show where it's like the iconic red hair with the polka dot dress. I think it would be more fun for me to take from the episode things that I personally always noticed. So one of the things are these particular type, my dog's snoring, I'm sorry. I'm trying to like get him to stop, but he's awake. <laughs> it's just flat face problems. I always noticed that she and I'm trying to still find the exact episode where there's one that was just so beautiful. But she always had these almost bustly skirts around either dresses or like pencil pants, like pencil skinny pants. What are those called? Not capris, but they're just like the cigarette pants, you know, when they're really skinny. And I just think it's so beautiful and I love the look of it. So I want to try to fix up a skirt that I've already started to do this to. Now this skirt I got at the Bremerton Vintage Flea Market ages ago and the skirt came completely closed and it was a really, really small waist. I love the skirt though and the person who was selling it gave it to me for super cheap. So I remember this being really affordable and just thinking I can do something with this. I don't know that this is vintage. There's no label. If anything, it looks handmade. So I don't really see a problem with altering it to my liking. I already did put like little a belt on it but I don't love this. So I wanna rework this whole thing to look like one of those skirts that go over either dresses, short skirts. Short skirts are cute, that'd be cute. So we're gonna play with this. It's gonna be a fun upcycle and that is a Lucille Ball tribute to that beautiful design of just whatever you call that. What do you call it? It's like a skirt skirt, <laughs> it's a skirt bustle. I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but it's beautiful. My great grandmother worked for Desi Lu. My dad's side of the family are all from California and lived in LA. So back in the 50s, my great grandmother worked in Desi Lu Productions. She was either a phone operator or a secretary, one of the two, but she had a signed photo from both Desi and Lucille Ball. My great grandmother was a telephone operator for Desi Lu. In fact, I did talk to my dad, and apparently every Christmas they would get a signed photograph and a bottle of booze. My great-grandmother also would tell the story about how she didn't like when Mickey Rooney would call because he was always really drunk and would say that he wanted to talk to Lucy. He was her least favorite caller to the Desilu Studios. I treasure this so much. You have no idea. And Lucy and Desi touched this. They touched it with their hand. Another thing that I have that is Lucy related is my tattoo. I have a Lucille Ball tattoo. I got her face on my leg by one of my husband's good friends named Kurt Bayer, who's a tattoo artist out of California. Now I have Lucy with me forever. I would love to incorporate just all of the humor that Lucy brought to all of us over the many years that she was on I Love Lucy. And can you believe that she was 40 years old when she started I Love Lucy? 
I didn't know that until I just looked that up. And she doesn't look 40 to me at all on the show. I would have guessed she was definitely in like her early 30s. That blew my mind. And then it made me think, well, gosh, I think they say that Ethel was anywhere from five to 10 years older. So that would put her closer to her 50s when she first started I Love Lucy. That just blows my mind. She's my age. She's in her 40s when she started I Love Lucy. And all these episodes that I'm watching, she's my age. It's even more relatable now. You're not gonna really hear me talk about age too much because ageism in women on the internet is cruel that stomach. So anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna do a whole tribute to I Love Lucy throughout this entire video of the week. It's gonna be a vlog though, so right now I'm gonna go make some treats because I really am on this whole kick right now of learning how to make florets on top of cupcakes, and I want to get good at like cupcake art. <laughs> but I'm trying to do it healthy. So I'm making sweet potato cupcakes. And um, I mean, it's essentially just a muffin with icing, right? All right, I made myself a little healthy salad to combat the fact that I'm about to make sweet potato cupcakes. teaspoon and ginger. Now we're going to sift the dry into the wet. Taking my adorable cupcake liners. Every time I make these cupcakes with this healthy more vegetable based batter. I think it just looks like baby throw up, <laughs> but it tastes great. I promise. 18 minutes. Alrighty. I love this little thing. It's a, it's called a cake tester. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. That's why you don't want that little drizzle over there. While they cool off, I'm going to hit the fabric store and I'm gonna see if I can find a trim. I want to find a way to belt it closed. So those are my goals. All right, we are at the fabric store. I'm heading in. We're gonna take a look around and see what inspiration I can get for the front of the skirt, but I'm really thinking about hand beading it. you know you've made a good choice at the fabric store when four people comment about what you've chosen. I got a yard and a half of this beautiful, my god is it not stunning, look at this freaking fabric. Oh, does that not scream sienna to you. I mean it's florals, we know I love some florals, but look at how stunning it is. Beautiful. So I've got some time to think about how I want to incorporate this into the skirt. I have an idea, but I'm going to have to probably sleep on it. It's one of those things where you almost kind of need to design it and work it out in your head. And the best time that I find I can do things like that is when I'm about to go to sleep. Well, I am no cake decorator. These look horrible. <laughs> make the doves. No, I think I better make the doves because as I recall, the last time you made doves, they weren't very pretty, honey. In fact, they were more like ugly doublings. <laughs> I really give it to people who can make cupcakes look beautiful, and I can't expect to get it on the first try, can I? But I can cover it with glitter, and that's what I do when I don't like my makeup. So maybe that'll work for cupcakes as well, because I have edible glitter. These were supposed to be roses. I think my problem is my icing is a little bit too drippy. Like if I was gonna try to build like a floral or a rose or something, you know? And my hydrangeas look more like waves in an ocean. This is what I was going for. What did I do wrong? Let's give it a shot. Morning. 
welcome back to the Lucy tribute video vlog. You guys will, if you're a Lucy fan, you'll immediately know when I show you this dress. Tell me which Lucy episode this reminds you of, okay? <laughs> if you're thinking the potato sack dress, then you are correct. you win a prize. I got this linen dress when I was thrifting in Oregon. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that looks like the freaking potato sack dress on I Love Lucy. That episode was very fashion involved, which I loved because I even back when I was a kid, I was interested in fashion. It's just a funny episode because of the fact that it's like, do we like things because they say the fashion label's name on them? Or are they really cool. And I see that sometimes still, obviously to this day, where something will come down the runway that's so outlandish that you're like, you're just pulling our leg. That's a joke, right? <laughs> I've seen it for sure. Um, I feel like some of them are just, you know, it's art. They're creating art. And I think that's where people, the disconnect is. A lot of people think fashion means this is what we think you should wear. And a lot of it is to take inspiration from it or for these designers to be able to express their art, which is their fashion. So anyway, we are going to go into the craft and beauty room. Going to figure out what this is going to be come. <laughs> So it actually has a detachable buckle, so I can change it out. I can only find the Gucci one, so it's a little on the bougie side, which I like. Did I spray my perfume? What is all over this? So this is the concept number one. Now how would I get in and out of it, you ask? I don't know. All right, and here is idea number two. It still allows for the skirt to look the way that I'm thinking in my mind, which is the open front so that you can have on a mini skirt or some really cute cigarette style pants. And honestly, I think this is the way to go. It's really fancy. It really makes the skirt look more um, formal. The best thing about this whole project is that this is gonna be one of a kind. No one will have this. This is me. This is my skirt. I made this. That's why I love upcycles, because you can really customize things so that you are really um, wearing something special. Oh, oh, that must be it. It's bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look at this chart. That's not the bobbing at all. Ethel, will you go home? Why? Well, I, I want to make this dress all by myself, and I want to surprise you. We're gonna cottage core this thing up. I'm adding ruffles because this is what I do. <laughs> I didn't want to cut the trim, so it's just a ball on the floor. <laughs> and uh, that way I have it pinned because if I'm not gonna use it, I don't want to cut it. So this is what it would look like with that white trim along the edge of the skirt. I think I like it. I thought maybe blush would be a little bit too much to go work out, <laughs> but I just need this collar on my face. I feel weird. Hello, welcome to another day. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. I'm actually going to jump on this bandwagon. I want to try this reformer Pilates and the reason why is because the idea of something that I can do that involves stretching and yoga and cardio, all kind of slow movements all at the same time, that is more appealing to me than yoga. I really like the idea of doing it like a guided exercise. I would love to take some classes and then eventually get my own Pilates machine for my gym. Strawberries, banana, protein powder, yogurt, all sorts of stuff. Good stuff. All right, I am here. I made it. 
I already have to pee. It's the nervous pee. Wish me luck. Oh, I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. Stretching felt amazing. I used to do a lot of dance, so I took ballet and jazz growing up. I was also a cheerleader for like four years growing up until I like discovered pot and alcohol and then I quit cheerleading but and I was on a water ski team I used to be really like bendy so I immediately was pointing my toes just out of habit when she was like and stretch and I was like blink <laughs> like pointing my toes but um I would say it's hard it's definitely hard the beginning felt great the middle started to get like oh quarter of the way through is when I was like all right I might have to like step outside <laughs> She uses the people at the front of the class and at the back of the class as an example for everybody. So the gal at the other end, when we were facing that way, she was showing the movements with her. And then she made me the example on the other side. And I was like, <laughs> like shaking when she was trying to like make my body move a certain way. My body was like, <laughs> I was shaking so much. We were doing planks with this machine and having to pull back in and I'm like, uh, I feel like this machine's gonna whip like really hard and just <laughs> send me flying into the mirror, but it wasn't that dramatic. It's, um, it's such slow controlled movements that you really have yourself under control the entire time, if that makes sense. So I was confident that I could move the machine. There was one thing where you had the machine on your foot through a loop and you would have to go like around in a circle and I kept feeling like it was gonna fling off and like hit somebody in the eye. <laughs> but it never did. Thank goodness. And I told her, I did tell her, she said, do you have any um, physical things or whatever that I should know about? And I said, I have this thing where I start to kind of feel dizzy sometimes. And if that happens, I just step outside. This is the perfect way to say it because it didn't make this whole like condition whatnot. You know, I don't need to go deep on the first meeting with my Pilates instructor. But, if, you know, down the road, maybe I'll mention a little bit more information just about me and what I'm going through and just how I'm trying to strengthen myself in so many ways. I, f I do feel like my brain feels clearer. My head feels clearer. I have a little bit of pressure up here, but I think it's good unless I'm about to get a migraine. <laughs> but overall, definitely something I want to continue to do. I think I'm gonna shoot for maybe once a week and see how it goes. So I'd like to go back next week and keep up with it. And then I'll see how many times a week I can stick to it. Maybe I'll move it up to two. morning my icon box just arrived yesterday and i thought we would try all of this stuff on together i've already done the full face it's not anything really crazy you know i didn't have time to sit and do like a really wild makeup look it's just so that you can see the products and what i got and just you know get an idea of what you can get when you order the ipsy icon if you've ever considered it i do the regular ipsy which is the five full-size products throughout the normal months but i think it's bi-monthly every couple of months every few months they do the icon box and it is a extra large curation by some sort of celebrity influencer or whatever what have you it's like a collaboration so the one that did this box patrick star so this box was put together and curated by Cat Patrick Starr, who you probably know here on YouTube as a beauty influencer and also has come out with makeup collaborations with MAC in the past. Now has the one size label you can get at Sephora. And Patrick always looks absolutely stunning, darling, stunning. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> Let's open this Ipsy box. It's already open and it's empty. I'm just showing it to you. But uh, I'm gonna just step by step kind of show you what I've put on and I did some makeup little cutaways that I can show you when I woke up this morning and did this look you see here. Ding! <laughs> You may open your eyes now. 
So to start off, I did the skincare. Every single thing I'm gonna show you came in this box. Some were add-ons. I always add stuff on because it excites me. I get more stuff in the box. So with that said, I needed a new cleanser and I just so happen <laughs> to get a really amazing Dermalectives purifying cleansing gel. Now, when I tell you this thing weighs like 10 pounds, it is the heaviest bottle. It looks like a cocktail shaker. <laughs> I think bartender, ex-bartender, can you tell? The first thing my brain goes to is a cocktail shaker. But wow, talk about winning on the packaging altogether. I did not use this today though, because I did, I just sat and did the makeup and opened this on camera got a really light floral smell to it so it's not really strong but it's nice I love I love the packaging it just it looks so pretty I just feel like this is gonna look really nice it makes me kind of want to look at more of what Dermalectives has to offer the grow potion a fluffy brow lash boosting serum by Kosis this uh, I will be using because I want to try a new lash serum I took my lilac street lashes off actually mid makeup so if you see uh like I go from lashes to none they were just they I'd been wearing them for like two weeks maybe I'll try a lash serum for a little while it's interesting because it comes with this doe foot for the application which to me is just a little odd it looks like lip gloss but it's a clear formula and it smells like mascara which I think is a strange little tidbit there but yeah you just put that on your brow put that on your lashes and see if you can get a little boost in some growth there and then the other thing that i'm not going to try on camera is this this is the hair recovery oil and scalp oh okay wait now wait a minute if it's a hair recovery oil as well that means that i could probably work this into the ends which is great because i've really been enjoying just making sure that the hair stays let's put some in let's do it let's do it here a little bit of oil there and just pull it into the hair no smell to it just smells like you know an oil would smell this is just my hair after having it in braids yesterday i actually started to notice last night that i was feeling oh my muscles <laughs> everything my back my whole body hurt my shoulders and my back which is good because that's where i want a lot of like strengthening it's just like my back for my posture and so that was strengthened uh my core felt strengthened i my abs my ass cheeks <laughs> my ass cheeks hurt so bad that's that's a good thing all of this is a good it's a good hurt because that's how I know I got some workout done because if you don't feel the pain then you don't feel the gain <laughs> you know what I mean and I really want to feel like I got something out of this so I already signed up for two more classes and I'm gonna try to go at least once or twice a week if I can I also got a little sample travel size at the Tatcha dewy skin cream and we have a trip coming up and I just wanted a hydrator a moisture I just wanted like a new moisture oh, that feels so good I love Tatcha I love the brand god that feels good so I just wanted a new face cream for that trip um and then also this I'm not going to put on today well maybe I no no this is the vacation SPF 30 baby oil so it's an SPF 30 but it's a sunscreen oil which is so awesome because you can get that lovely shine. My dogs, it's a sunny day out. There's people walking by with dogs. The baby oil, uh, I love the idea of this just because I want something that, ooh, that's gonna make my tattoos look really good. And maybe I can get like a little bit of time without burning my skin. Oh my God, it smells like baby oil. So let's go ahead and get into what I did to this face. <laughs> So I did the boost bounce boosting serum with collagen and peptides by First Aid Beauty. And this I really like. I'm actually really into it. It's kind of like a almost like a milky, creamy looking serum. So it almost seems like an like a second hydrator, like a second moist facial moisturizer. All about that. No real smell to it, but if I'm gonna have like a second boost of moisturizer to my face, yes, I'm into that. And then on the face, we did this. Everything's open because I've already used it, obviously. This is the Saturday Skin Pre Pro and Prebiotics. By, it's called Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. Seven peptides. 
mixed into this little sucker. And this has a really cool, it almost has like a foundation-y package, doesn't it? It's got a lovely smell. It's not too intense. Nothing really like crazy to write home about, but when you put that over top of that other moisturizer, it's got a nice, you can, the skin feels really good. My hands are gonna love this. So yeah, I like this. I like the idea of this being my moisturizer. I'll probably have this up here and I'll start using that when I mix it with my foundation. Maybe I'll try mixing that with my foundation. Speaking of foundation, we have a new BB cream, but it's called the BBB cream. Uh, blur Texture Balance Oil Boost, Hydra Boost Hydration. So I think it's Blur Balance and Boost. That's why it's called a BBB cream. And this is by Patrick Starr's brand, one size. And I thought the packaging was the coolest. Look at that. So when you put the top on, first when you get it, you have to like peel the seal off. And it's on the side like this. I just thought that was so different. And then you find the little top twister on it can kind of be maybe a little annoying but it's mostly cool <laughs> but you apply it like in a squeeze bottle again something i really like it's a little messy but this bb cream you work into the skin see the coverage here and it really feels like a balm it feels like a like a hydrating balm so it's really lightweight coverage but i think even then i would still try mixing this with my moisturizer i didn't do that today i did everything separate but i have it on the color is really nice it's the light 1r which is light rosy undertones i was worried a little bit that it was going to be pinky which i don't like a pink foundation my skin is pink i want to counter the pink i want it to be not pink <laughs> so i want it to you know even out all of that redness but also i don't want it to be too yellow either that's why i usually go for neutrals uh so yeah that is really nice i like the bbb cream I like this stuff and I'm gonna try it tomorrow mixed in with my moisturizer. The next thing I put on is the Anastasia Stick Contour, which oh, uh, it truly is for my skin tone, the most perfect shadow that you're, you could ever ask for. Like I'm looking for a shadow. I don't want it to be a smear of brown. I don't want it to be too bronzed because bronzer is a d completely different thing from contour. I want it to look like a tiny little hint of a shadow on my skin. And it did that. And it's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot how much I love this color. It's great for under here if you want to cast a shadow here because that's always a troublesome area. I'm hoping with Pilates I'll be able to get rid of this. But you know, for now, even if I didn't have that, I would still probably want to do a little lifting, especially as you get older too, you get some sagging here. So it just kind of helps you smooth that out and then just really blend it in so it doesn't look like five, look like five o'clock shadow, but you can also get that snatched nose. It's just so lovely. I love it. So yay. That was an add-on, I think. And I'm so glad I added that, that back on because holy cow, I love it. And then another thing from one size is the brown liner. I tried their liner in black. I didn't love it. I actually ended up sanitizing it and putting it in my makeup kit because it would work on skin that doesn't have a lot of elasticity to it if you have younger skin. But for me, because I have looser skin, it's like I need something. Well, I do, I pull it to be able to do the liner, but I need something that's not gonna skip along it and felt tip just always skips on me. But I did this today and I felt like I had a pretty easy time with it. So maybe, it's user error <laughs> when I've had issues with the felt tip in black. Um, and then the last two things, it's a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's because I added on. This thing, oh my God, I opened it the wrong way. It says particular, it says right here, pull up and like don't open the bottom, but this should be m more of a sign. Like do not open the bottom. The bottom is full of powder. And if you twist this off, the powder goes everywhere. You really just wanna use this to open the blotter. And this is a powder on a little sponge so that you can do little touch-ups on your hair. It's like a, you know, dry shampoo, but for travel, the SOS hair powder. I love it. It's really clever. And then finally, my battery's dying, so I'm gonna go really quick. The Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Styling Mist. And I'm not gonna try it because I already put stuff in my hair, but Oh, it smells really good. And this is just for body and light hold for fine hair. So just something if you, actually I could use this on my hair. 
even though I have extensions. So I'll still be using this on my extensions. But that's it. That's everything. I got to go back to work. But um, just wanted to sit down and do that while I had a little break. And it looks like my texts are coming in and emails are coming in. I can hear everything dinging and donging. So I'm going to go back to work and I'll pick this back up a little bit later. God, you guys oh my god it's always nice to go from like recording reels sienna to my vlogs because i just feel like i'm like more me <laughs> like i'm 100 myself with you guys and whenever i'm like filming voiceovers and stuff for vlogs and reels i always feel like i'm doing like my news anchor voice <laughs> and thank you for watching this reel <laughs> but hi <laughs> welcome to the next day i am finishing the skirt and you wouldn't believe it no one knows this but you so YouTube gets the extra special behind the scenes of what really went down with this skirt because oh my god this has been going on all week it's been a long ongoing process with this skirt let me tell you what <laughs> let me tell you what because I actually thought I was going to put it on the outside because I loved the applique that much I thought oh I just want to look at it you know what I mean but I thought about it I did it, I sewed it all the way on, all the way around, and I did trim. I even tried it on and I showed it to the camera thinking, I'm done, okay, now we can move on. And I went to sleep and I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought, I don't love it. Would I really wear that? Sometimes it's easy to make a project look good and think you're done with it. But when you realistically think, am I gonna wear this? Do I like it? And I thought, no, it's too much. I just, I like my florals, but I also really like a subtle touch here and there. I don't like it to be overbearing and too girly frou-frou. There is, there is such a thing for me as too many ruffles and too much frou-frou, if you can believe it. So I decided that it wasn't my style at all. I hated it. It was too, it was too little girl looking. I don't know. This morning I took Seam Ripper and I went along the entire thing. All the trim that I put on it, all of the mesh that I did, and it did end up ripping some of the mesh unfortunately and because it was like $35 and that was with it 20% off on sale because it was a little bit more expensive, I knew that I had to work with what I had. Like I didn't want to have to go buy a whole second yard and a half of it. I wish that I didn't cut off what I did, but I didn't know that it was going to go this way. You know what I mean? So what I ended up doing was putting it on the inside of the skirt and it's just a little short. So it just doesn't, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the dress. I'm considering taking some of the extra that I have and attaching it, but I don't know if that would look good. I guess if it didn't, I can just seam rip it off. I had a black and white belt that I had tried attaching to it and I made it to where it had a detachable buckle holder. I removed it and I hand sewed on these two that just attach like this and some gold buckle, some gold button details. If you're wondering what that sound is, Lyle is still doing all the electrical in the house. He's finishing up, I think, the bedroom. Um, we're getting all new outlets, we're getting all new wiring. He's abandoning all the old wiring in this house. A lot of it's very unsafe and just nice because we're getting a fresh rewire of the entire house from a commercial electrician and it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to have a handyman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's great. But um, yeah, so I love the skirt. I think it came out great and I just did my little Lucy tribute shout out for my reel. I am just really happy to have done a tribute towards her. I've been meaning to shout her out in my videos somewhere because I don't know if you guys really know how much I love I Love Lucy and how much I love Lucille Ball. The fact that she's funny and that she's like very much herself and authentic and willing to be goofy but does it in a glamorous way is goals. And if you ask my husband, that's me to a T. Like I asked him what my his favorite quality is about me and he said, you're funny. And I'm telling you what, that's the best compliment you can give me. You can tell me I'm pretty. If you want, when I have my extensions, my hair and everything done like this as much as you want, sure, I'll take it because I'm not getting any younger. But if you tell me I'm funny, that's a compliment. I'm actually gonna go. Anyway, my battery, I had to switch out. That is the end of this video. Because of this is going on all weekend, I might as well just stop it now. <laughs> oh 
dear god the sound's going on in this house right now i better hurry up and close this out i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun making this oh my god you have no idea thanks so much for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and i will see you guys next week on next week's video whatever it is bye Thank you.